One of the most prominent religious leaders in Detroit has tested positive for coronavirus and he's asking for prayers to get through it. The Reverend Horace Sheffield III recently traveled to New York City on business. He tells our Sean Lay he wishes he'd listened to people who told him not to go. Reverend Sheffield tells me he felt invincible. He never thought he would get coronavirus. Now the man who prays for others is actually saying this prayer for himself. My, my prayers, Lord, take this from me, you know, and, and forgive me for being such a big fool. Um, you know, I mean, I, I always think I'm exempt from stuff. I mean, I, I should have known. And I was told by so many people not to go to New York, not to go. From his bed at home and in a lot of pain, the Reverend Horace Sheffield is worried. He's tested positive for coronavirus. He's 65, has diabetes and other health issues, and he's lost 20 pounds. I mean, I pray for people all the time, but I was praying for myself. I had to go to the office yesterday just to drop something off. And I mean, I just like felt extremely weak, um, just totally besieged by something. So, you know, no, I mean, I, who knows? Sheffield made that stop at his office before he got his positive test back. He believes he got coronavirus in New York. He was there two weeks ago for a meeting with Al Sharpton that he did not want to miss. Walking out of that meeting March 12th, he says every bit of strength left his body. In hindsight, I shouldn't have gone. Um, I mean, I, I went right into the, the heart of it. Still, it took his wife, a nurse practitioner, to convince him to go to a drive up testing site March 16th. It took 10 days to get the results. Even in those 10 days, he felt sick, but still felt invincible. He never thought coronavirus would threaten his life. People have died, so, you know, and I'm not, a, I'm not out of the woods yet either. The Reverend tells me he tried his best to self quarantine while he was waiting for those test results, but still came in contact with family and a co-worker, all of them are now getting tested. In Detroit, Sean Lay, Local 4.